Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to another round. I am your host, uh, Patrick Scarborough, and today I have uh, Ben Snyder, Alex Shinkari, Elden Belga, and uh, actual Meta Knight, Zach Meta Knight Levine. Don't call me Meta Knight, Meta Knight. There you go. I'm pretty sure that's your real name. Anyways, uh, we're going to go around the table. We're going to talk about what decks we're playing today. Ben, start us off. All right, guys. Hey, I'm Ben. Uh, I'm a longtime uh, Magic player, uh, former co-worker of Scarzards, and today I'm piloting uh, Ramirez de Pietro. Uh, this is a pirate deck that uses a lot of older cards, including the, the first run of pirates from before Ixalan. The original pirates from Arcadia Masks uh, actually had the ability that when they come into play, all, all opponents sacrifice a permanent. Uh, unless they pay a certain amount of mana. So I've got all of those in here, uh, and you'll see them come out in a couple of different ways. And then we've got all of the new pirates that I've kind of focused around creating treasure and kind of causing some mischief both in the air and on the ground with a creature swarm. Uh, Shankari, you are playing another one of your many, many elf decks. Why don't you talk uh, us through this one? Uh, this is Risk the Redeemed, and unlike Nath and Azuri... He is going to be making tokens. My job here is to put as many 1-1 one, one green elf warrior tokens onto the battlefield and as many 1-1 one, one green white elf warrior creature tokens onto the battlefield as possible. And then just going as tall as possible. We have some other tokens in here. We have some other stuff. We have some elementals. We have some beasts. But the elves are the main are the main part of the show here. So, so you're kind of bringing another creature swarmy strategy here, uh, and I guess to talk about our next creature swarm strategy, <laughs> uh, Zach, who are you playing? So I'm playing Sadisi, and not to sound too repetitive, but I'm also trying to fill the board with, in my case, zombie tokens, which are generally twice as big as the elves. Yeah, I don't know. They work out before they come back from undeath. But then using, once I've assembled a horde of zombies, using some powerful enchantments to either put the nitrous into the engine and just fire off or keep the engine running after some board wipes that usually set token decks behind Ooh. to rebuild. Yeah, I think the zombies get ripped because it's all of the, uh, all the workouts as they literally crawl out of hell. Probably yep. probably gives them very, very good uh, arm muscles. It's a long way back. <laughs> yeah. uh, I am the only one not playing a creature strategy. I'm playing Arjun the Shifting Flame. I have never played a blue-red deck in my life. I've never had a desire to play blue-red. I uh, am not a very big fan of blue in general. I like to use it as a support color or as a supplemental color in a lot of strategies. So this is very new territory for me. I just built the deck. This is going to be its first real game. And I am going to be using Arjun's ability a lot to constantly be drawing cards. Um, and, you know, you might be saying to yourself, well, it's Commander, drawing cards is very good. And I'm certain that it probably is. We'll see. I hope this doesn't turn me into a blue player. But I am using these cards for very different things. So uh, as, as, as people at this table will probably expect, there are going to be a lot of triggers that happen when I draw cards that are going to benefit me and not necessarily benefit my opponents. It's weird. It's wacky. It's not what I normally play. And I hope to uh, God that I don't die to any one of the three swarms that are going to be next to me. Sarazar. Ben, you have won our invisible die roll, and you will be the one to uh, start us off. All right. Well, let's kick things off then with a Cavern of Souls set to pirates. Did you draw your card for multiplayer? I did not. But yeah, they always, did. they always forget. It's okay. Oh, no. Is okay. that the one-drop pirate? Are you kidding? It is. It's the one-drop black pirate. Oh, uh, my God. Scoundrel. God, all right. So we t we kind of talked about this, but uh, when Ben says he's playing old cards, he's playing some old-ass cards. So we're going to have to have those up on the screen for a good second. This is not an old card, but there certainly will be some uh, that none of us have ever heard of. All right, Shankari, go for it. Uh, I'm not going to have a very exciting turn. I'm going to play a, uh, a uh, Path of Ancestry, and I'm going to pass the turn. All right. I'm going to start off with one of the spicy battle bond lands with a morphic pool and pass the turn. Yo, okay. I'm not going to draw a card because I accidentally drew a card. Uh, I accidentally drew eight because I'm a criminal, so we're going to pretend that I drew that card, uh, and I'm just going to play a basic island. Uh, my first ever turn one basic island, and uh, then I'm going to pass to Ben. You're going to feel the the power of this one one. <laughs> uh, no, don't don't make me. Okay. Well, 
All right, well, first, before combat, we're going to play uh, Mistress Factory, and then we'll get in... Uh... I mean, I don't know, guys. I feel like the Arjun deck is probably the scariest one in the abstract. <laughs> Just, just do it. I'm taking one. I'm going to 39. Right, there you go. Just, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll pass the turn after that. Mother of God. How does it become? Oh, it's actually when does it two. become he, good? When it's uh, attacking. Oh, so you, oh. you actually take two. All yeah. right. Well, now that I can't abide by. You've made an enemy for life. For at least like a couple turns. Well, yeah. You know, as I continue to play my basic lands. All right. I'm going to untap and draw. Going to untap uh, and draw and play I mean, forest. my... Uh, well... Forest. Forest. It's a forest. It's a, where we're gonna play Land of War Elves. Ah, now you get to uh, scry yeah. because of Path of yeah. Ancestry. Look at you. So Path of Ancestry lets me scry because it shares a, a, a creature type with my commander. By the way, everyone uh, should yeah, be playing Path that. of Ancestry. It's a rainbow land that margin, like has a marginal upside. Like, in some decks, it's amazing. In some decks, it's just okay. But I will say that, that the enters play tapped sometimes feels bad. Right, but I mean, it's it's like compared to something like a City of Brass, right? Which I'm sure uh, people run in their yeah. decks. Yeah. I will play an Evolving Wilds and pass the turn. I see. Right. Yeah. I'm going to play a Demir Aqueduct, returning the Morphic Pool, and then because I have eight cards, I'll discard Geralt's Mind Crusher. Oh, God. It's just, yeah, just a zombie. That's fine. It's okay. They're just zombies. Right. They're just you're gonna be sorry once I get to ten mana. Um, I'm gonna play a mountain, uh, just a normal vanilla basic mountain, and then uh, I'm gonna pass the turn to you, Ben. All right. Could have attacked the guy who has a land of war elves, the guy who you knew was gonna have a land of war elves. You should have psychically known ahead of time. Well, clearly, if I could do that, I would be playing a different card game than Magic. That's true. I understand. All right, let's see what we got for this turn. Uh, well, nothing too exciting. Let's do uh, a command tower and a steam frigate. Woo! A what? Is that a steam <laughs> mother of God? Steam frigate. It is. Uh, it's got <laughs> island home. Uh, what is that? Uh, what is island home? Wait, actually, it doesn't because it. it uh, so island home. I'll just answer that real quick. Okay. Island home is. It can only attack if the defending player controls an island, and it's buried. If you, or excuse me, it's sacrificed without a uh, possibility of regeneration if you ever don't control an island. Oh. That is island home. What Steam Frigate has is it just can't attack unless the defending player has an island in play. I see. So it can literally only attack you. Yes! Right no. <laughs> yeah! No. Well, it doesn't I, have haste. I'm safe from not. the boat. Uh, I'm, I'm going to send it at uh, uh, the Meta Knight. Uh, okay, I will take it in the guts. All right. All right. Wow. He's grasping for two damage. Of all the places you could have taken it, I feel like you chose to take it in one of the softest parts of your body. But you I, know. I need to get it out so I can feed the zombies somehow. I, you know what? That's a very sweet relationship you have with your zombies, and I'm not going to question <laughs> it. All right. So I'm going to make a bad play and not sacrifice my Evolving Wilds. What? Uh, kids, uh, if you play Evolving Wilds, it's best to sacrifice it at the end step of the of one of your opponent's turns as opposed to on your turn so that you can kind of get a feel for what everyone else is doing and see if you need a fish for an answer uh i had this on top so uh i kind of needed to not oh right the scry thing one. yeah i see okay so unclaimed territory is like cavern of souls except uh you can still counter it so, so it's not like cavern of souls <laughs> but unclaimed territory is going to enter the battlefield and i'm going to declare elf as the creature type I see. Uh, then I'm going to tap uh, one, two, three, and I'm going to cast a uh, a cultivate. Ooh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put one basic land card into play tapped, and the other one into my hand. So I'm going to put a forest into play tapped, and a plains into my hand. To speed this up, I'm going to crack the evolving wilds, and grab a forest into play. All right. All right, so after that, I'm going to pass the turn. I'm just going to cycle an undead gladiator. Okay. More zombies in the yard and play an overgrown tomb and pass the turn. I see. Okay. Uh, you're going to hit me with that frigate, aren't you? Well, you are the only one I can hit with it so far. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But can hit it. Can hit is not the same as will hit. Um, I'm actually <laughs> going to uh, end of turn snap it back to your hand. Uh. Turn oh, to your yeah. owner's hand, untap up to two lands, and I cannot actually do anything good with that, but uh, the play will make a little more sense in, in just a sec here. Uh, draw for the turn, play an island, 
and tap three to play Jace's Archivist. And uh, Snap is no good <laughs> as a card that is not uh, that, that's going to be in my graveyard. So uh, that's going to be me, and I'm going to pass the turn to you, Ben. All right. We'll see if I can muster up something exciting here. Okay, maybe not this turn, but you know, there's always tomorrow. Uh, I'll play a snow covered swamp. Yes. Yeah, let's bring that steam frigate back out. Uh, we'll keep it. Force of will. Though it would it would be the first time ever that a force of will would have countered a steam frigate, probably. That is true, but also it couldn't have since it was Cavern of Souls. Oh no, it's a ah shit. All right, well, wait, is that a pirate boat? Is that really <laughs> what it is? Oh yeah, all of the creatures in this deck are pirates. Uh, yes, many of them have actually been errated to be pirates. Like all of the Portal Second Age Talus cards are are pirates in Oracle, but not on the card text. Dear God, uh, yeah, you'll see. Steam Frigate is a human pirate. Yep. All right, okay, so you've replayed oh, but I the did, Frigate. I did, yeah, I did get in with two uh, on Zach again. Okay, all right, so Zach, you get on to yeah, thirty six. Um. Well, step number one is going to be Marwin the Nurturer. Yeah. Okay. Uh, whenever another elf enters the battlefield under my control, I put a one plus one plus one counter on Marwin the Nurturer, and then add a green to my mana pool uh, for equal to Marin's power. Then I'm going to tap three, and I'm going to play a group hug card. Uh, Salvala, Explorer Returned. So Salvala. every time in the past you've ever told me you're playing a group hug card, you've played a card that actually sucked for everybody to fight against. So so is this one a really a group hug card? <laughs> okay. So, or is this just you drawing a million cards off like Edric again? All right. So Salvala is a three mana two four, and her ability is parlay. Mm. And, uh, Pirate tap. There you go. Yeah, see? Each player reveals the top card of his or her library. For each non-land card revealed this way, add green to your mana pool, and you gain one life, then each player draws a card. Okay. So everybody draws a card, but if you reveal a non-land card, then I get a green mana and gain a life. I see. Okay. Neat. Marwin triggers, and it gets a plus one, plus one counter. All right, so now Marwin taps for two mana? Two mana, yes. Okay, yeah, so it's equal to her power. All right, neat. Yes. Just some, just some elf shit. All right. Yep. All right, so you know, replay that Morphic pool from earlier. God, the value. Okay. So good. Then I'm going to play out a Graveborn Muse, which at the beginning of my upkeep, I draw X cards and lose X life, where X is the number of zombies I control. Okay, so and she is a zombie or no? She is a zombie, okay. yes. And I'll pass. All right, well, I will play an Is It Boilerworks? And I will tap this island to float mana, and I will return it to my hand. And then in a play that is maybe really dumb, um, I'm going to use that mana to tap Jace's Archivist. So we're all going to discard our hands. Uh, so who, who's discarding the most? I'm discarding six right now. I'm at six. Okay. With four. Sorry, and you're fine. Okay, cool. So we're going to get rid of them. Uh, and we're all going to draw six cards right now. Uh, I think that's all that I can do. So I will pass the turn. All right. Yeah, I, I didn't actually discard anything super exciting. I've got a skeleton ship in there. Ooh, the to. skeleton ship. Dude, that should <laughs> be your commander. Get the skeleton uh, ship in so there. So, ironically, this is actually the one card in the deck that isn't a pirate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I don't tell people that normally, because it nor almost never comes up. And uh, It's, it's, it's like out of shame you don't tell people. I understand. It really should be a pirate, right? I yeah. just feel... Um, uh, yeah. I will say that I have discarded a Voice of Resurgence and an Avenger of Zendikar. All right. Uh, all right, I'm going to play a Mutable. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Mana Vault. Oh, <laughs> that's the yeah, sure. <laughs> and then I'm going to tap the mana vault for mana for Genesis Wave for pirates. Attempt to cast the GTA. You got it, man. Look, if you think about it, we're really working together because you're gonna keep dumping your hand, and I'm gonna keep making us draw a billion. I feel like this works fantastic. I'm definitely not attacking you anymore. That's hey, for there we sure. go. I I might actually just have to attack you one turn to get some counters on the the. Uh, all right. Look, I understand, but I can't say that I will forget it. All right. Okay. Yeah. So they're all coming into your face. Uh, that's a total of five damage. Me, all of them are coming to me. I love cool. how you were like, you were like, oh yeah, maybe we, oh, maybe I have to attack you one turn, and then you were like, ah, at that, at that point, just fuck it, let's go. All right, sure. I'm taking five. I'm at thirty-three. Since I attacked with a creature, uh, Ray I'm play a, a siren reaver. That's a uh, three-two flying pirate. Uh huh. All right. Sweet. And then I will pass the turn. You got it. Right. 
Uh, well, first I'm going to play Command Tower. And Pat, I really like that you helped everyone else out by drawing a card. So I'm going to do that for everyone right now. Uh, okay. I'm going to tap Solvala. Everyone reveals the top card of their library. All right. I've revealed Mystic Confluence. All right. I have revealed a Plains. Diagraph so, Colossus. All right. So there are three non-lands. Yep. So I gain three life. I get three green added to my mana pool, and everyone draws a card. Okay. So we all we get the thing that we shoot. We, we showed yes. you. Um, then I'll tap a white mana, and I will play Wilt Leaf Leech. Okay. When that enters... Marwen is going to get a counter. Mm -hmm. And other green creatures I control get plus one, plus one. And other white creatures I control get plus one, plus one. Sure. So if it's a dual colored creature, it's going to get plus two, plus two. This is a four, six. Yep. Because of that. Then I'm going to tap Marwen for four. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to play spend two of it on a Priest of Titania. Then it, you know, if, it, gets... if at any point these Jitte counters want to start... I that was I'm I'm, I'm watching. I'm okay, watching. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna spend the other two on a swift foot boots. Okay. And I am going to move to equip Priest of Titania with Swift Foot Boots. Alright, yeah, let's throw two counters at her. Alright. She's two two right now, right? Yes. Alright. Yeah. God I would rather her not be hexproof. Yeah. All right. Uh then I'm going to tap uh, my Path of Ancestry. To play Riss the Redeemed. Da, 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 da. Yo. That's going to put a plus one, plus one counter onto Marwyn the Nurturer. I see. Then I'm going to tap one. I'm going to put Swift Foot Boots onto Riss the Redeemed. So uh, then I will pass the turn. All right. All right. So Graveborn means triggers. I lose a life and draw a card. All right. So you are at 35. Yep. Then I draw for turn. See, I think I'm going to play an Unholy Grotto, which is a land that lets me put zombies back on top of my deck. I'll use it to play a Diagraph Colossus, which gets bigger for each zombie in my graveyard, which is just two right now, so it's a 4-4. Four, four. Okay. And then I'm is just it going a to constant effect, it. or is it plus one, plus one counters? It's counter, so it has two counters on it right now. All right, and then you were playing a card that is being destroyed by the sun. Rampant Growth, ah. which is, I'm just going to go get another basic. <laughs> right, good. Is, is that a guy growing a sunflower out of his head? Yes. Is, and it's sort of covered in vines. It's by far the best rampant growth. <laughs> That's some insane <laughs> rampant growth there. I had no idea. All right, well, we're learning a lot today. Is that, is that Onslaught? Seventh edition. Seventh edition. That, that right. was an addition. <laughs> I'm going to untap and try to not die. Is, is it my turn? Uh, I'm going to untap. I'm going to untap. I'm going to draw a card. Neat. Uh, I'm going to play a Reliquary Tower. Do I do anything? I feel like I'm just going to get my ass kicked by this pirate right now while Elf Elfman is going to win the game. I do have a flyer now, so I don't have to attack you anymore. Right. Well, I mean, you didn't have to attack me with both of them last turn. You still did. So if I go off of, off of you know, the, the atrocities that my people have suffered at the hand of these pirates, <laughs> like what, I mean, you know, what, what do you want me to believe? Right, that's what I'm saying. I don't super enjoy this right now, but I am just gonna pass the turn with my with my two two blocker available. Uh, I gotta get used to this if I'm gonna play blue. So I understand. All right, I'm untapping. None of you guys have like wastelands or strip mines hiding in anywhere. Nope, we have no okay. on board land destruction. Okay, I'm gonna play scavenger grounds. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Zach, you're uh, familiar with this one? Yes, so, I, I'm familiar with everything that touches the great <laughs> in an unholy way. I like to think that, like, in you and Arlene's, like, bedroom, you have, like, a Pepe Silvia-style board with every graveyard hate card. You just throw <laughs> darts at it. All right, well, I, I'm going to play a more fun card, then, instead of messing around with my, uh, uh, Jete. And we'll just uh, we'll play. A, I'm, I'm, I actually don't know how to pronounce um, this card. God, say, well, do your best shot. <laughs> uh, this is the uh, the K U K E M. Well, don't spell it. You gotta you gotta try it. You gotta try saying the name because currently the, the none of us. Cucumber are. pirates are. Okay. Uh, You're gonna have to type are coming it out. into play, <laughs> and when they attack and are not blocked, uh, I may choose to have them do no damage and instead steal. An artifact from the the player they're attacking. I um, see. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's 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 a kukemsa. But yeah, so for attacks, then 
I can't move the Jate, but let's let's do three in the air at the elves. All right. All right. I'm just doing my part wow. to whittle them down. All right. So you go back to your starting life total. So I don't want to hear any moaning out of you. Sounds like a plan. I'm done after that. I've got nothing more exciting happening. Uh, at the end of your turn, I would like to tap three and activate Risk the Redeemed and make a 1-1 one, one green white elf warrior creature token. You that got is, it. This will trigger Marwyn. Marwyn will get big as hell. We're going to untap. How, how big is Marwyn now? She is a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, so All she's right. going to tap for six mana. So actually, so is this on, this is on the end step still? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm moving I, to my um, yeah, step. yeah, because I, I have I have responses to to the Marwyn okay. trigger. Um, right. Zach, remember me because I'm going shields down Hello. for this. <laughs> I'm going to play the Mystic Confluence that I uh, revealed with Reese uh, or, okay. or with uh, Silvala, and I'm going to bounce Marwyn back to your hand because um, yeah, I can I can choose any mode three times. It, it's yes. it's mana leak. Mm -hmm. Uh, draw a card and bounce a creature. So I'm so I'm bouncing Marwyn for sure. Um, I am going to bounce, uh, let's say Wiltleaf Liege, um, and then I am going to draw a card. Cool. I, I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm. That's that's too much mana, dog. You can't. You can give us all cards again. You can do that thing, but <laughs> you, that's that's too much mana, homie. All right. So now you can go to your untap step. All right, uh, I'm going to activate Salvala, so okay. everyone reveals the top card of their library. It's going to reveal a Temple Garden. Undead Warchief. Wandering Fumeral. So we All got right. two lands, or three lands. So three lands, and then one... We draw these, even if yes. they're lands? Okay. Yes. I gain, I get one green and one life. Mm -hmm. All right, so you are at 41. Yes, I'm going to use two of that, two of my life, and I'm going to have Temple Garden come into play untapped. Uh, with one flying, two, three, four, or I'm going to play Wiltleaf Leech. All right. Since I played Path of Ancestry, I get to scry one. Okay. And then no, I will tap no, no, one, no, no, two, no, no, no. three, four, five, and I will play one of the few non-elf creatures in oh, this deck. Oh, Lord. Uh-oh. Uh, Sigarda, Host of Herons. Okay. Uh, so she is a 5-5 five, five flying with hexproof and spells and abilities your opponent's control can't cause you to sacrifice permanence. Mm. Which seems very good against my uh, my pirate friend over there. <laughs> so it, so real quick, if 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 living death were to happen, you you just get everything back and you don't sacrifice any of your creatures? That's how that works? Yes. No. Living death doesn't say sacrifice. You exile all creatures in play uh. from wherever you order right. Bring all creatures from the graveyard back and put the exiled cards into your graveyard. I for some reason I was Cameron can cut this if it's if it's wrong. Yeah. I, I, I but can keep it in if I'm right and, and I'm very smart cuz cuz he'll look it up. I was playing against someone recently who ran a sacrifice based deck. You remember that guy, the asshole yeah. from our from the store we were at. And yeah. that's why for some reason I thought it it sacrificed because he was like kept going off about how it was great for his shit, but or, yeah, it does sacrifice. Sorry, I got the order. Hey, right. never mind. Cameron is leaving it in. I'm a fucking genius. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For the first time in his life. Yeah. yeah. Oh. But, no, I mean that's it. That we we had it live on on camera. The first time I've ever been smart. All right. Uh, then I will pass the turn. Okay. Upkeep. I have two zombies. I draw two cards and lose two. All right. You're joining me at the thirty three club, baby. And then draw for turn. Just get out the war chief and make a zombie. Okay. And then I'll play Temple of Malady to scry one. Mm hmm. I'll leave that one there. That seems fine. Temple of Milady. Milady. And then I'll play a Necrancer Stockpile, which can let me convert cards in my hand into more tapped zombie token. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Great. And I think I'll pass the turn there. Yeah. Down at Man, months. all right. It is the thing I thought was going to be happening to me is happening, where all of you have stuff. Uh, okay, this is all of this is probably bad, but we're going to do it. I will tap three to play a commander sphere. So taps for blue and red, and I can sacrifice it to draw a card. I will then tap that. I'm going to play Jace's Erasure. Sure. So whenever I draw a card, I may have target player put the top card of their library into the graveyard. 
Uh, <laughs> so it's only one for one, and it's only target player. So uh, any of you belly aching is not. It's not. It's we're not popping off yet. It's I yeah, can, but like if you draw if you draw seven cards per like hypothetically, you could make someone mill seven. Yes, out of their okay. out of their ninety nine card deck. You are correct. Yeah. I, I I cannot feel bad for you if you yeah that are, doesn't seem so terrible. Yeah. Drawing seven is great, um, especially because what you and Ben have probably less than seven. I'm willing to guess. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, today or today. Uh, today. This turn. <laughs> this turn. I'm, I, I'm going to just. I am going to take one from my mana boat. Okay. Have... So you go down to thirty nine. All right. I'm just playing a uh, Desert of the Glorified Tapped. Okay. Uh, a Siren Storm Tamer. Okay. Uh, so this is a 1-1 one, one flying pirate that I can sacrifice to counter a spell or ability uh, that targets a creature I control. Oh, it, it, it's it's not even it, unless they pay. You just get it. Yeah, it just counters it. Ah, I see. Well. Uh, can I just do three to you and get counters on the Jete? Is that okay? You got you to hit me with three? There's not... You can't... You can't... I, well, if I move it, then I can't cast... Okay, fine. All right. This one time... <laughs> this one time right. I'm doing it for you. All right? I'm going to move it over to... Uh, I guess no, that's that's bigger too. Fine, here you get it on this guy. Great. Wait, no, then you'll just block. I'm it. not. That's no, I'm not. I'm sense. literally not gonna block it. I okay, want you to get right. the counters. I just don't want to take three. All right, there you go. Take two. Plus, take I want to keep the wheel card, and I don't. I don't want Shikari to draw a fresh seven on his turn. All right, there you go. I take two. All right, awesome. And I will pass the turn after that. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and tap Salvala. Mm-hmm. So everyone reveals the top card. Okay. I'm going to reveal a <laughs> rampaging Bayloths. Cool. Uh, what? Normal. All right, what we got over here? That's a dread summonings. Dread summons. Yeah. Yeah, and then we got a mountain and a a boat. <laughs> it is a, a reef pirates. Uh, whenever it deals damage to an opponent, they put the top card of their library and put it into their graveyard. Oh boy. Oh wow, All we're right. really teaming up to mill here. All right, and then yeah. we draw this. I'm going to gain three life. And everyone draws those cards. I gain three life and get three green mana. Do I draw it or do I put it into my hand? Uh, you draw it. Okay. Then each player draws a card. All right. Jace's Erasure is going to trigger. And then I'm going to mill you for one, Shinkari. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. What do we got? If I die for that planes, I, I, will go, I will go down gladly. Okay. One blue player has nothing but colorless. And another blue player has counterspell mana. What about the other blue player? Tapped out. Okay. <laughs> just, just. I'm going to cast a uh, a Genesis Hydra for six. God damn, sure. I reveal the top six cards in my library and can put a non-land permanent card with converted mana cost six or less from among them onto the battlefield. All right. So Shuffle my library. Creator of Beam does not put... cost six, right? We're, no, we're safe. it's eight. One. Right. Oh. <laughs> two. Three. Mm-hmm. Four, mm-hmm. five, mm-hmm. and six. All right. Well, well, I'm hey. gonna grab the Marari's Wake. Yeah, you sure and are. Put that Chief. into play. Go, go for it. Yeah. Uh, all right. So then these guys get shuffled into my library. Okay. So That's sh- just yeah. so Shinkari. Let's have a chat, you and I. Let's <laughs> let's and 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 here's here's what I'm gonna tell you. Here's why I didn't counter that Marari's Wake. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, so, Pat, that that's really great that you told me that you didn't uh, do an illegal action. That's really <laughs> great that you told me that. Thank you. Oh wait, can you not counter the thing? Oh well, then. Uh, you may put a non-land permanent card with converted mana cost X or less from among them onto the battlefield. Right. I mean, I just came out to have a good counters. time, and I'm feeling really attacked right now. Attacked? Yeah. It's funny you should mention that because I'm uh, <laughs> moving to combat. And you're sure I'm the threat here. That's okay. Cool. No, I'm glad. Well, okay, so let's put it this way. I would like to deal damage with Sigarda, host of Herons. Right. Yes, because it's a lot of damage, mm-hmm. and I like dealing a lot of damage. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. And so our opponent, and... Zachary, is about to gain four cards in his next turn. He's going to lose four life and doesn't have a flyer, I believe. Yes. Right. Yes. You're right, which is why Sigarda, host of Herons, is going at Zachary. Mm-hmm. Uh, this 4-4 four, four elf warrior... And this uh, five five uh, wilt leaf leech is going at you. <laughs> okay, sweet. Um, no. Well, I'm gonna block the five five, and then I'm going to Jace's archivist. So, so I'm okay with that. Yeah. 
All right, so we're going to discard seven. Is my hand size right now? I have eight. You have eight. So we're gonna. So wow. we're all going to draw eight right now. All right, I'm discarding five. I discarded four. Um, and all eight of those mill triggers is going to you, Shankari. We could have been friends. Uh, and then I'm going to take uh, three, I believe. I'm taking three. Uh, four. Four? Why is he four? Oh, the Mirage Bank. Uh, yes, you're correct. Mirage Bank. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so go down to 27. Eight. Did you hit anything good? Uh, well, you hit a Court of Calling. I'm kind of upset about that. Very good. Uh, Loving it. Suture Priest. And then and, uh, Jason's Argus. Root Corn Defenses. Sweet. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play my land for turn, which is going to be a Gavany Township. Sure. <laughs> then I'm going to say pass. We're sitting We're sitting pretty. All right. Grave board mo- means triggers. I'll draw four cards and take four. All right. You get under 21. You draw four yep. cards. I'm having a good time. Are you guys having a good time? <laughs> yeah. What? We're playing <laughs> Commander. Of course we're having a good time. Having a fun <laughs> time. Dying to elves. So I think I'm just going to try and get as much of a board out as I can against this thing. So I'll play Simic Signet, use it to play a Llanowar Dead, which gets me another tapped zombie. Mm -hmm. And then I think... I'm worried about your the life loss here. Yeah. Yeah, me too. But (laughs) I think the Lich Lord of Unks may help with that. Okay. Which, another zombie. All right, what so does that do? It can. I can play blue, black, and tap it to put a one-one blue and black zombie wizard into play, and then I can play pay blue, blue, black, black to make target player lose X life and put the top X cards of their library into their graveyard. Wow. Well, so, I don't know if I'm going to be around uh, in the future, but um, I don't know if I'm going to be around either. Well, but, okay, but I'm liking what we're both doing here. Is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. All right. I think I'm going to say go and. Discarded Dwarai Refuge. Just the land. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> uh, um, I'm going to Windfall. <laughs> so we're like going to... The actual card? The actual card, Windfall. So we're going to discard one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we're going to draw eight. And then Shankar's going to mill eight. Uh, Coda Arms got ditched by me there. Uh... Might be relevant. I would have. I would have enjoyed seeing that with three creature base decks. I have hit so many. No dryad arbor. No. <laughs> Loving that. One, two, Gotta three, say. four, five, six. Um, this sure, this sure is getting bad. Uh, I will play an island. Uh, kind of true to form here. I'm going to flashback desperate ravings. Um, <laughs> to draw two cards. And then discard a card at random. Uh, and Shakari, you're going to mill two more. And that is all I got. I will pass the turn to Ben. All right. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to untap. I am choosing to not untap my uh, my mana vault, so I'm down to 38. Okay. Oh. Uh, I will draw a card for my turn. I will play Underground C. And I will play or attempt to play Swift Foot Boots. Oh yeah, I look. Sure. I, I will never touch any of your things from now until the end of the game because the end of the game for myself and Zach is probably next turn. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this Grave Born Muse situation is a situation. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's see if I can help. Maybe I don't know. The uh, way you said that lets me know you can't. But I appreciate. Well, it. I don't. I don't know. Uh, blue uh, from that, and uh, we'll go with a, a black mana from, from this one. You can you can keep wind falling, and we can just mill them out. Well, uh, uh, I can't do that, but I, I can ascend with the uh, the time screen <laughs> na- navigator. Okay. So I do have the blessing of the city. Mm-hmm. And you have okay. a swift foot boots. Yeah. So I'm going to put the swift foot boots. <laughs> but it's a ten for that. I didn't realize. It's cool. Yeah. Uh, but I might actually have... I might have to hold off. I might not be able to actually uh, combo... Or not combo. I guess I take an extra turn. Uh, but I, yeah, I think I, I just I just equip it this turn. I can't actually go because I'm one mana short. Unfortunate. Unlucky. 
Uh, but we can still do some things. Uh, I feel like you have two blockers. I mean, he has two blockers. He's about to untap with uh, Marari's Wake. Yeah. Um, yeah. If, believe me, if I could kill him, I would. I oh would no, I know, but I think at this power. at this point, it's really we got you know, it's, we we all have to work together, or we're all. I, I die think that turn. is true. I think that is true. Um, okay. Um, yeah. So here's so so here's here's my suggestion, because I because I feel like if I can untap, I can hopefully make a contribution. Um, yeah. I don't think it's gonna work. But but uh, just to put all the cards on the table, as it were, maybe putting your Jitte on a flyer and then trying to get two more counters from him this turn so that you can instant speed minus four, minus four feels hefty and important. Right, but there's nothing on his board that actually it, that kills. Uh, the warrior, oh, okay. the elf warrior token and the land of war elf, sure. sure. But also sure. keeping <laughs> any of us alive is potentially worth it. <laughs> like... Yeah. If, You're not wrong about if that. We're, if we are in a true arch enemy situation, the game is very likely to end next turn. Right. So, I'm I have a response that. to the equip. Oh, okay. well. I'm going to tap Risk the Redeemed. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make another green-white Elf Warrior creature token. Okay. And then I'm going to activate Gavany Township and put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature I control. Sure, yes. Yeah. You have done the beginning. Throw some damage over at you to... Uh, Pat, just for... I'm not trying to kill you. What? Uh, he doesn't have a blocker. Why? Yeah, no, no, no. You, you, you're not taking the flying damage. You're just taking the... the... I, I, there's no one else who has any islands. If the other island player Dog, had an you, island... Buddy, I'm, I'm you, saying you need those as blockers, homie. Like... You think yeah. he's going to swing with everything at me? Why does he kill I, me? I, th I think turn? he's going to kill all of us in the next turn. Yeah. I any think, survivor is a I think, yes, like, like... Hastening my wow. death and ensuring yours is not the way that you win this game. All right. Well, I am not trying to. Guy, in any case, sorry, he only yeah. had two counters when he attacked. I'm okay, sorry. I'm so... not. I'm not trying to hinder your play experience. We are just <laughs> literally about to die in the next turn, and I'm trying to. Yeah. <laughs> it's very important to me that you know that I do not feel as if you hindered my play experience whatsoever. All right. My play experience is fully. <laughs> unhindered right now unencumbered <laughs> it's an unencumbered play all of experience. our play experience is about to get uh fucking elf booted to the face in a sec so, so i'm glad that like we can all stand to together. happen I, i'm just curious as to the state of whose turn it is it, it is about to become your turn okay. yeah. yeah yeah my turn has passed okay oh lordy um so the predicament is i can probably win the game this turn Okay. Actually, no, I don't, I'm not. I'm not sure that I can win the game this turn. Okay, but I can do something that before I was like, "Oh yeah, I'll just keep it secret. I'm not going to do it." Okay. Okay. So what? <laughs> what's the predicament I, here? So 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 it's either it's either do I do the cool thing or do I do the more consistent thing? That's Dog, you are in the so driver's seat by a country mile. You can do whatever the hell your heart desires. All right. So I'm going to play, I'm going to tap three mana, and I'm going to float six. Yep. Uh, I'm going to play a card called Midnight Guard. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, so what, Midnight Guard says, whenever another creature enters the battlefield, untap Midnight Guard. Mm. I feel a strange presence. Um, Is I'm it going to tap Llanowar Elves for one mana to move Swiftfoot Boots onto Midnight Guard. Yeah, okay. And then I'm going to use the remaining three mana to cast Presence of Gond, targeting my Midnight Guard. Okay. You, Is this an this infinite three. combo? Or yes. Yeah. Well, Th then why did you think you wouldn't win? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> like I so I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make infinite one one Green Elf Warrior creature tokens. Mm hmm. Yes. Cool. Just, just so many of them. Right. An infinite amount of them. Yes, I can find just something make... in your room and put it put it on your field to to, yeah, to show us large. the infinite. Wow, it's, that's not big enough. Wow, get like I'm a. You're right. You're right. You're right. So toss your what? wallet on or your coward. Okay, so, so, <laughs> just so th for throw it those on. The... Are, so the reason. So one of the big things that, that I find funny about this deck is that once I bought it, I I saw that I only had one elf warrior creature token. Yeah, I was like, that can't possibly be enough. So I bought 30 of them. <laughs> All right. 
thirty finity. This is this is my this is my infinite. You know what? That's fair. Warriors. Yes, yes. Sure. In fact, go for it. Uh, I do need to end at some point, so I'm going to say I'm going to say we're at. Well, I'm you said say we're you at said 10, infinity, right? You already yes, yeah. But but like they don't have haste, so there's nothing really I can do with them this turn. Sure, but but an so infinite 10, number. Of them. Of them. Okay, well you're fine. Yeah, there's ten thousand. It's your elves. Uh, it's your party. You, can, you have ten thousand of them. Yes, uh, I'm going to tap. Uh, I'm going to tap these two for four, and I'm going to play uh, Angel of Jubilation. Uh, Angel of Jubilation is other non-black creatures you control get plus one plus one. Got it. And players can't pay life or sacrifice creatures to cast spells or activate abilities. So, so it shuts off fetch lands, but yes, okay. Um. Yeah, I think I'm just going to end it at that. Let's see. I am about to lose one, two, three, four, oh five, God. six, seven, eight. Not, nine cards. Oh, nine yeah. Cards lose nine life, draw nine cards. Yep. God bless you, my son. Go, okay. go with God. Are we going to get some Lich Lord of unks, unks, unks? I don't know. How many cards do you have left, Alex? 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Okay, I... Don't know if I can get to thirty six. Well, I mean I what? can I can help some, but yeah. I don't know that milling is is the way if you have anything wait, else. Wait, 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 you wait do what do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you mean by you don't know if you can get to thirty six? Well li- Lich Lich Lord mills you. Yeah. What? It kills you many ways. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Lich Lich Lord mills for the amount of zombies he has. Oh. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm kinda shocked you didn't kill him. But oh yeah, um, I don't think I can get there. So you have two flyers, and you're at how much? He's at forty-two. Forty-two. Okay. What's there? I'm gonna use dread return. Okay. To get back the other city, see? Okay. and then because it exploit is a triggered ability, I'm going to sacrifice a zombie or ooh. I think I actually have to sacrifice the DC two. She's gonna exploit herself and get me a card out of my deck. Okay. Everybody stands watching, waiting with bated <laughs> breath as the zombie player digs through his library. He can get any card. He doesn't have to show anyone. But I yeah. have a sinking feeling that he is going to show us immediately. Actually, I might have found it. Uh oh. If, I, if anything's going to do it, it's this. All right. I have nine and you're at 36. I don't know. Yeah, I think we can do it. Earthcraft? Wow. Oh, no. Oh, what is? Uh, what happens here? So, have we all died? Earthcraft lets me untap lands. Mm-hmm. I'm going to play pay blue, blue, black, black, and mill you for nine and make you lose nine. You, you lost nine at the beginning of your turn. You, you, you yeah. brought Sadisi back. Yeah, but I used Sadisi on Sadisi. Right, so would Sadisi have given you another zombie? Or no? No, because it wasn't cast. All right, so... I think I miscounted somewhere, because I have... Look, if you're just trying to mill him, I can I can help finish oh, no, the job. I can just kill him right now. Oh, well, damn, fuck. Okay, yeah, I will back up and be okay. very afraid. Yeah, Never mind. Um, untap, give me your aqua deck twice, add blue, blue, black, black, mill you... It's actually eight, not nine, so mill seven. I drew an extra card, but... It didn't. It was not the dread return. So, four. Five, yeah, I screwed up. Six, seven, and then how? So how does Earthcraft work again? Oh, you tap creatures. Earthcraft says I tap a creature to untap a land. God, what a nutty card. Okay, sure. Yes. So, yeah, do it again. Mill you for another eight, and you lose eight. Wait, is it eight, seven, or nine? I'm... It's eight. Okay. I did. I told him nine, and then made it seven. God, he was, he was at forty-two, and then he lost nine. Or he should have. He should have lost twenty-four at this point. Okay, I'm sure. All right, so he's lost twenty-four. So he's at eighteen. Yeah, and then I'm, I think I yeah do it again for another eight. No. What? Greater hope, behemoth. Oh no! Sitting at the bottom. God bless his heart. Five. All right. All right. Scar, can you kill him, or do I need to? Uh, I'm. Well, I don't actually know how many are in his 
deck right now. Four? <laughs> can you count for us? It's four. Four. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can get him. Okay. Can you... I I'm, might have to do something that'll leave me very open to you to get him. Can I... Can I buy myself a turn, or what are we yes, thinking here? If you, if you, can you kill him now? Can I kill him now? No, I have to untap to do it. Okay. Can you, well, can you make him draw a card for any reason right now? Um, it'll depend on what I draw, but no. I mean, he'll he'll go on his upkeep. Okay. Does he have a way to survive? No, I'm just saying I need to get rid of my graveborn muse post haste. Right. Okay. I, fuck. Can I help so, you get rid of your graveborn muse? I have no idea. If you, I can help you get rid of your grave. Or help me get rid of my graveborn muse. I can just ensure his death. I, I can, can tell you. Okay, if you stop Pat from killing me, I can ensure that you will not have a graveborn muse. Anymore. Ah, but but I can do you one better. If you make sure that he dies, <laughs> every, I can also make sure you won't have a graveborn muse. So okay, so yeah. I will use graveborn. So you'll kill my graveborn muse once I'm done with it, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. I, on my turn, it has to get, to get to my turn. Okay, sure, that's fine. Okay. Untap the mirror aqueduct. Add blue black. Lich Lord of Unk. Untap it. Add blue black. Mill you for eight more and make you lose eight. All right. So he goes down to two. Yes, and has an empty library. All right. And then I pass the turn and discard a number of cards. <laughs> okay. Holy moly. <laughs> okay. All right. Did you get any... Get, are you discarding anything insane I'm that we need to I'm figuring out this cards. Yeah, you can start taking your turn. Okay. All right. Well, I'm just going to casually, very slowly, without making any sudden movements, untap my lands and draw a card. Did, did you agree to, to letting me live for yes. a turn? All right. Yeah, I'll let you live for a turn. You let me live for a turn. Y yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not coming for you. Cool. I want to shuffle Alex's graveyard into his library. I okay. Well, I'm gonna tap one, two, three, four, five, and I'm gonna play Arjun for the very first time in my entire life. Here it is, Arjun the Shifting Flame, five, five flyer. Whenever I cast a spell, uh, I mind moil. Put the cards in my hand on the bottom of my library in any order. I draw that many cards, um, and I'm going to play Chasm Skulker. Um, sadly, it's on cast, so Chasm Skulker doesn't get huge. Uh, yeah. But I'm going to uh, put uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards on the bottom of my library, and then I'm going to draw seven. Six, seven. Um, neat. And then Jace's Eraser Triggers are going on... I, 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 is it considered a break of the truce if I put them on you? What, the Jace's Erasure Triggers? Yeah. No. Okay. Then I will put them on uh, you. It's reasonable. Yeah. All right, cool. And then uh, and then that's my turn. So, Ben, ha have at it, buddy. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm still going to leave Mana Vault tapped. Okay, so you're going to 37. I am. I remind you to kill my Graveborn Muse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Okay, you won't... Cool. I just wanted to check out on... <laughs> Yeah, on the status of my graveborn muse. Real loud. No, no, no. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay, so we've got that's, a. Uh... That's that's the voice of someone who isn't going to do it. I know you will. I know you're a man of your word, but you're like, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, definitely, definitely, yes, absolutely, just speeding away from the bomb you planted. That's all right. All right. Um. Okay, I played a land. Mm -hmm. It was an island. Okay. Okay. Also, remember, I just zombie. What are you? Zombies are at. 12. 12, yeah. But, I, see, I could kill you. Yes, but I just saved the entire game. Do it. That is so true. <laughs> do, do, do it. Do it. How big are these guys? How big are your blockers right now? 5-5, five, 2-2, five, two, two, or 1-1. One, 5-5 one. Five, five and 1-1. One, one. My blockers are pretty big. Like, if you wanted to swing at me. <laughs> just, just saying. We're going to swing... All of the bodies at you, uh, Mr. Scarzard. Okay. And not... what are they? They're all janky. Yeah, they're things. all real little. Not the, the Navigator. Navigator's not coming in. I've got a 3-2 flyer with a Jitte equipped. Mm -hmm. I've, I've got a Siren Storm Tamer and a Steam Frigate. Right. I, well, I need a... to know powers and toughnesses here. I gotcha, will never gotcha. remember their name for as long as I live. 3-2 <laughs> flyer, 1-1 one, one flyer, 3-3 three, three island home. Well, not island home, but fake island home. A 2-1 
and a 2-2. Two -two. Uh, well, I am going to guess that I have to put Arjun on the Jitte guy. Because if I'm remembering how that card works, uh, I would like to not just die straight up. Um, and then 2-1, two 2-2, one, two -two, three three, and a 1-1 one -one flyer. Yes. That's what we got? Okay. Well, I'm going to put Chasm Skulker in front of the 3-3. Uh, three -three. All right. Do you, do you have any things you would like to do? Yes, yes. I'm going to pump this guy up to a 5-4, uh, and then I'm going to pump him up into a... Are you still able to kill my muse? Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry. Okay, you're, cool. It's like, oh, hey, you're, you're good. That muse is okay. dead as hell. Don't oh, yeah. worry about it. I promise it's, it's going to be... You're, you're, you're going to love it, too. You're going to love it. You're going to okay. love it. Okay. okay, all right. So he is a 7-6. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to sack my commander sphere to draw a card, which is going to... Pump Chasm Skulker and put a Jace's Erasure trigger on the stack. Chasm Skulker will die, and I will have two squid tokens represented by this cat and this beast. <laughs> They're very large. Arjun is going to die, and uh, the trigger is going to go to Zach because I got to stay consistent. Yeah. Uh. Cool. Whoop. And then you just took uh, two, three, four, five. You took five. Yes. So I go down to twenty-two. Okay, and my Jute gets four counters. Four? Okay, so I played a Stormfleet Spy post-combat. Making treasure. It's a two <laughs> that draws a card. Sweet. Cycling. That's super exciting. Uh, then I'm going to tap Mutable and cast my Soul Ring. Sweet. Okay, yeah, before I do anything else, let's go ahead and get rid of all of the Get rid of the graveyards? Yeah. <laughs> graveyards are gone, yeah. baby. Who needs cool. them? All right, and then I'm going to take another turn after this one. Okay, so you pay that, and then that goes on the bottom of your library. Yeah. And uh, go to my second turn now. Mm -hmm. Second All turn right. phase. Second turn phase. All right. Uh, I like how you've got like a land sandwich. Like you had you, you yeah you had your lands on top, your lands on bottom, and all the murderous pirates in between. Let's see. Do I want to untap Mana Vault this turn? Uh, you could go to Gasp thirty six. Yeah, I'll just I'll just go to thirty six. Okay. If Zach kills uh, you with I'm, exact lethal, I'm that's so funny to me. Yeah, I will laugh, yeah. but not that hard to be honest. <laughs> uh, I like it. I I appreciate the honesty. I'll give it a, a small chuckle. I feel like he just dies when I pass. The no, no, again. yeah, he unless he's got some incredible mastermind play. All right. Um, do it like that. All right, let's see it, baby. So, how I'm interested about the Graveborn Muse. I don't know that either of us are going to live, but I am excited to see how that's going to go. Oh, uh, <laughs> Dire Fleet Ravager. So when this comes into play, oh, each yeah. player loses one third of their life total. Round it up. Yep. Cool. So I'm down to eight. Uh, and then I would say it's you. You probably just win this turn, buddy. Well, I mean, I could, but I promised that I wouldn't kill the zombie guy, so he's going to get another well, I, turn. Well, I mean, I think, I don't know. I think if you can win the game, I mean, I'm yeah, far I, be it for me to... I everything out the window if I knew I could win the game. Yeah. I think that's no, that's a general uh, rule, because I don't think there's a way you don't die on the crack bag. I think if you have, you took an extra turn with a pirate, buddy, I think if, you, if you're going <laughs> to... Yeah. You're gonna, if you're going to dire fleet ravager into killing us, I, I think that's sweet enough. Oh, so should I just go for the kill on everybody then? I think if you ever have a chance to straight up win the game, I think that's what you're supposed to do. Jeez. Like, you just said you'd get rid of his Graveborn Muse, and by removing him from the game, you absolutely are going to do that. That's fair. These eight damage is going at the tapped out zombie player. This guy. Yeah. Then I kill him. Yeah, they're gone. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 13. And then make this guy. Oh, you sure you don't want to? Two more. That's yeah, fifteen. Yeah. Two, and then two more is seventeen damage to you. Yeah, dog. So okay, but so. but just to be clear, which what what I would have done to destroy the thing uh, would have been to play this, so you can choose to sacrifice it. Uh, <laughs> for free. All right. So you technically haven't won yet. You still have to pass the turn to our friend Shinkari. Yeah. This is true. This is true. So, I just wanted to show that no, no, no. I do. You're you're uh, very right. Both of us have been pirated out of the game. Legal. GG's. 
right. And pass the turn. Uh, at the end of your turn, I'm going to go out on my own terms, and I'm going to tap Salvala. <laughs> oh my gosh! The top part of our library. And then, uh, so then I gain one life and I get a green mana. And uh, we both draw a card and I die. All right. <laughs> All of the ten thousand, all the ten thousand elves look up at their general, who, who lies slumped over his own cards. Yeah, and, they, and then they slowly start to fade away as the summoning magic wears off. Oh man! So everyone who put money on the pirates deck can now retire. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, the odds on that had to have been insane. You just were handed the one thing in a lifetime. To, right to, to combat kill. You didn't even do any jank with it. You literally just took an extra turn and killed yep. people with fucking pirates and a jitte. And that's, oh. you know, that's that's cool enough for me, man. Well, there it is. The first and probably, hopefully, last time you ever see a bunch of janky pirates actually kill an entire table. Um, thank you to everybody who uh, watched this one. I'm sorry that we didn't do an upload last week. I was at PAX. We tried to get uh, everything going ahead of time, and the travel schedule just didn't super duper work out. Anyways, uh, thank you so much again for watching. Shoutouts to all of you from the subreddit crowd. Shoutouts to all of you from Discord, from my stream, wherever you are on the world, uh, however you found this. Uh, we love you. Uh, a reminder that Friend Data uploads every week with an asterisk, unless we're traveling, but we'll try to be better. Uh, should be every week, hopefully every Monday, uh, is when these episodes come out. So if you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell, you can see when that happens. And myself, me, Scarzard, as well as this show, is powered by Patreon. The names of those valiant heroes whom you can see scrolling along <laughs> right now. So thank you again, again, again. I say thanks a lot because I mean it. Uh, for, for, for making this whole thing be super special. I, I hope you saw some cool cards. I hope you really liked uh, the gameplay, the fun, the goofs, the banter, and uh, we'll see you next week. Later, everybody.